to find the circumference of a circle, we use a special number called pi. So what pi is, it's if you take any circumference of a circle, if you measure around the edge of any circle, and then divide that by the diameter of the circle, so any circumference of the circle divided by the diameter of the circle, it gives you this number, and that's pi. Pi is a very special number, and it's irrational. You can see here, it goes on and on and on forever. It will never end. I could have filled up a whole page um, of the digits of pi. Um, often we just use 3.14, or we use the pi button on the calculator, which I'll show you in a minute. Pi is the special relationship between a circumference and a diameter of a circle. We can use it to work out the circumference. So the circumference of a circle, circumference, is equal to pi times the diameter of the circle. So if you take pi and times it by the diameter of the circle, in this case 10, we'll find the circumference of the circle. This is also the same formula sometimes written as 2 times pi times the radius. So remember, two radiuses, two radiuses make a diameter. So it's the same formula, but instead of a diameter, you've got 2 times 2 and times the radius, which is the same thing. So we can use either of these formulas to find the circumference of a circle. In this case, we've been given the diameter, so we may as well use the top one. So we're going to do pi times 10, and then that's going to give us the length around the edge of the circle, the circumference. So if we type that in the calculator, what I've done is I've used the pi button in this case, which is found by doing shift, and then this button down here, you can see just about the pi there. So shift this button times 10, and that gives us 31.4, and I'll do that to one decimal place. So the circumference of a circle is found by using this formula, or one of these two formulas. So let's have a look at some questions. So remember the formula, circumference, circumference is pi times diameter, or 2 times pi times the radius. It doesn't matter which one we use. So let's look at this um, first one here. We've been given the diameter, so we may as well use pi times diameter. So we've got the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, which is 5. So I'm just going to write 5 pi for now. It will come up with on the calculator. It will come up as 5 pi, and you have to press this SD button to convert it to a, a number of a decimal. So I'm going to leave it as 5 pi here, but if you type that in the calculator and press that SD button, it will give you it as a decimal. In this case, we've been given the radius, so we could find the diameter by doubling it. So the diameter for this one is 8 centimetres. So this is in centimetres as well, I should have put that. So to find the circumference, we do pi times diameter, which is pi times 8. And pi times 8 is 8 pi. Or again, you could type it in the calculator. 8 times pi, pi times 8. And that will tell you what it is if you press the S to D button. OK, here's two more questions. Give them a go, and I'll go through the answers afterwards. Okay, so again, the formula to find the circumference, we do pi times the diameter, or 2 times pi times the radius. They give you the same answer. So in this case, we've been given the diameter, which is 4. So it's pi times 4, which is 4 pi. Or if you press the SD button, you can get that as a decimal. In this case, we've got 6 centimetres as the radius, so we could do 2 times pi times 6, or we could find the diameter by doubling this, which is 12 centimetres. And we can do pi times 
12, which again is 12 pi. Or if you press the S to D button on the calculator, you'll find out what that is as a decimal.